Let's meet some new people. Oh wait, let's give them a first name. And randomize their last names. And pump up those rookie numbers. Perfect. Now get some takeout from your favorite place and let's obfuscate some data. As with everything I do, you can download the add-in and VBA source code from my website free of charge. I start this off with some numbers in column A, uh, 1 to 20, and then we'll just work against that. Under text, there's a lot of text options. In this case, we can just click full name, and it'll look over to column A and see the data there and match that data. And that gives us 20 full names. If you want to do a subset, you can just select the cells, more than one cell, and it'll fill out the uh, selection. And this is great for creating data, but it's also good at uh, replacing data. So if you were to replace a column of data names because you wanted to send it out, and that'll let you do first, uh, full, and last names. There's also an email option too. In the source code, you can customize this if you're looking for particular domains, but it just picks a, a few random ones now. And for things like emails or names and states, uh, there's a randomized button. And so if we can identify that it's an email, it'll just replace it with another email and that'll allow you to replace uh, your existing data a lot faster. The randomize button is great for also just selecting a block of data that might be names and numbers and just hitting randomize and it'll randomize each one uh, in place. For more random text, uh, you can choose company names and it'll randomize a set of company names in there. Or you can choose something like uh, stock tickers and it'll also randomize a bunch of uh, stock tickers in. Another text option is book titles and that'll take a bunch of nouns and names and other things and different book title formats and sort of randomize them in there. And if you don't like them, you can click again and get another set of them. Uh, they're not all guaranteed to make sense at all, but that's what they are. You can also choose items and the items are just kind of random noun things for the most part. Uh, and if you don't like that set, you just reclick it again and you get another set of them too. And to round out the random text, you can choose colors and get a list of interesting colors. Or you can do a very simple yes, no, and get a bunch of uh, yes, no's back. For numbers, you can drop in a bunch of basic numbers like whole numbers or decimals. They work well with the randomize button. So the randomize will try to keep the same number of places or digits, but mix up all the numbers within that. And you can also drop in a bunch of formatted numbers like decimals or percents or a uh, currency. You can also drop in some other number like things. So like a credit card number or a social security number or a telephone number. There's also a mask option and this will actually X out the data in the sheet and let you keep the start or the end or a bit of both if you wanna just click the top level mask button. But here you can see I've X'd out the beginnings and just kept the, the end. You can also insert or create new addresses. You can do that at the street, city, and uh, state level. And so here you can see I've inserted a bunch of street ones, and then here's cities. And then when I go to insert the states, it'll actually match, it'll look to the column left and try to match the city. And if I go and change the cities again, I go back uh, and reapply the states, then it'll update the states to match uh, those cities. To really randomize the numbers, I'd recommend doing an increase and decrease multiple times, depending what direction you want to go, and then spamming the random button a bunch of times as well. That just gives you more odds of just making everything a little more randomized. If you're looking to drop in an entire table of just random data, uh, there's some pre-populated ones there. That uh, basically uses all the commands I've showed you so far, but just repeats them into a table. And for sales, it's special because it does a total column. And in that case, uh, there's a formula for, for that column. Let's talk about uh, cleaning data. So if I were to just copy and paste a Wikipedia table like this into Excel uh, as plain text, uh, I would get a lot of little extra things inside of the cells. And you can see as we choose text here and put it in, it comes in pretty well. The columns are there and the rows are there well. So uh, but it does have extra items inside, and we might want to break apart a few things. And so uh, the, the add-in will help with that. 
by providing a few quick commands to allow you to add and remove text from each cell. So in this case, we have those brackets and we just want to go clean and remove brackets. And just like that, all the brackets at the end of the city names are gone. Just to get a better view of the data, we'll just quickly resize some of the columns. You can double click the edges there to auto fit as a quick tip. Uh, I like to drag mine out sometimes though, but here's the, the double clicks. And we have a lat long there. And really I want those in two separate cells and not just one. One easy way to do that is to type in the part you want to extract out. In this case, I'm just going to select the cell and copy paste the 40, 66 and out. And same with the 34. Then I'm going to push Control E to do a flash fill, and Excel just sort of takes care of the rest there, which is great. And I can repeat this process for the other number there, the 73 and the 118. I do a couple of them, and then press Control E to have Excel uh, pull out the rest. Actually, it worked with uh, just doing the first one, so that's great. So let's say I wanted to remove the degrees north and degrees west. Uh, I can go back to that clean button and choose uh, keep numbers and decimals, and I'll just get rid of everything else that is not you know, a number with a decimal on it, uh, which helps me clean this up really quickly. And I can do this with the rest of the numbers too, so all the kilometers squared or square miles. If I just go clean and say keep numbers and decimals, uh, those will just disappear. I could also use flash fill for that too. Uh, in this case, I just got a single easy click and this will make it a pure number in the cell so that I can start actually doing calculations and sorts on it. I also wanted to show a bit of the evaluate button and that pops up a dialog that lets you run a formula on every single cell there. And you can select it or in this case, it'll just auto grow. And so if I said times 100, you can see that it added all those zeros to the cell. Or if you can say, uh, see here, it says ampersand, and then we're just going to add miles. It'll put uh, that in this the value in the cell, and so run that against every every item. There are also options to use to customize the behavior. So if you don't like the auto growing of the range to fill out the the data next to the column, you can turn that off. Uh, the tooltips explain a lot of it there, uh, but let me show you a couple examples. For preserve unique text, that means if there's a duplicate text in a column, it'll replace it with that same sort of thing. And that'll ensure you have the same count of strings there, but it'll be all different strings. For the limit of 50,000 cells, that's there just so that you don't accidentally hang the app if you select the whole grid or something like that. And so about 50,000 is pretty instant on most machines, and so that's why that limit's there. Let's jump to a bit on how it's made and how it does all this randomness. There's actually just a bunch of tables inside of a sheet. If you want to customize these, they have different words or specific words to what you want to use. Uh, feel free to, and it'll start pulling those words. There's a bunch of code that does a lot of looping and iterations. It's pretty well commented, so if you go in to change things or add more things, it uh, shouldn't be too difficult. I feel like a breakdown of this code or a step through in a future video, just let me know. Again, all the codes available on the website. The link is in the description. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video this far. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a like. If it was incredible, please give me a sub. And with that, I'll uh, see you in the next episode.